We're going to do this now, in all seriousness, because I've already shot like five different videos and none of the footage is working to my liking, so time to get my thoughts straight, time to get everything ready, and of course my hair looks amazing. Good evening, everyone. It is Saturday, February 2nd. I am that by Guy 3000 and today I wanted to do a video regarding why I will no longer be shopping at Target for the time being. Um, to start off with, store number 1872 in Durham has had a number of problems since they have upgraded to a Super Target, one of them being an issue with inventory. Now, a couple of months back, there was an issue regarding cat litter because we have three cats we need litter and the store had none whatsoever and we asked a manager why that was and they in turn told us that they had since switched to an automated system of inventory well Here's the thing, I've worked retail previously and the responsibility of inventory management was usually left to either the store manager or the department manager. And I remember distinctly when I worked for Jewel Osco and worked in the pharmacy section that I was responsible for replenishing the toiletries, batteries, things of that nature. It was up to us to make sure that we were stocked at all times, and we were held accountable for those actions. Well, today, once again, I went in to get a couple of items, and the cat litter that we use on a regular basis was not in stock. Last weekend and today... There is the product of the Gold Bond body spray. I like to use that. And yet again, it was not in stock. So I did ask a manager today why that was. And he proceeded to give me a BS line saying, Oh, well, we're having trouble getting that in stock uh, with the manufacturer. Well, that's really funny that he says that because when I got home and I went online and I looked up the product, it said, oh, well, you can pick this up in store in Durham. Now, granted, it may not be at that location. However, there are a number of targets in the Raleigh-Durham area. So for this guy to say that there is a problem with the manufacturer and getting it into the store, yeah, that's not really the case if I can go pick it up at another store. So caught you in a the lie there. Oh. But then I went and posted some pictures earlier, and as you could see in one of the pictures, it did say that the uh, cat food that was, you know, it wasn't on sale, but it was 49 cents a can. Oh, but lo and behold, looking at my receipt, it rang up as 57 cents. Oh, but I was told, oh, we just haven't gotten around to changing our signage. Well, guess what? As I mentioned, I worked in retail previously, and that was also our responsibility, was to make sure all of our signage was up to date and correct. So don't sit there and say that, oh, we just haven't gotten around to it, because that's your responsibility. If you're in retail, you're a manager, do your job. And he was saying, oh, well, I'll, I'll get you the credit back. Here's what it came down to. It was 24 cents. For me, that isn't the issue. What the issue is, is that how many other items are mislabeled or mispriced within the store that would make a person pay extra and not really think about it. It's just common courtesy and also a, you know, a best business practice to make sure you're advertising the correct price of what you're selling. After I was on the website looking up the gold bond, I decided to do some analysis of my own. And what I came up with was the figures going back to um, fiscal year 2017. And the CEO of Target is a person by the name of Brian C. Cornell, who in um, fiscal year ending February 3rd, 2018, which would essentially cover the year of 2017, his compensation, his salary, mind you, was $1.3 million. After doing some calculations, 52 weeks, 
40 hours a week. I know people are going to say, well, CEOs don't always work 40 hours. They may work more. Okay, fine. But let's break this down based on what the average worker in the United States work. And that's 40 hours a week. And so what that figure came down to was $625 an hour. Yeah. And looking at their website, it did say that the, um, the minimum starting salary was $11 an hour. And that they were going to increase that to $15 an hour, but that wouldn't be until the end of 2020. So we still have a little just shy of two years before that even happens. So in doing that calculation, here's what I discovered. In less than 37 hours, Brian C. Cornell will make the same amount of money that a person making $11 an hour full time will make in a year. Then I even did a breakdown further, and I said, well, now that they've went over to an inventory system that is automated instead of done by people, I did a crunch of the numbers, and here's what I found. Okay, here is a quick interjection. I didn't really get my thoughts out straight, so I'm going to break it down here. Target has 1,850 locations. If you put an employee in each one of those stores at $11 an hour full-time, that figure comes out to be 42328000 Okay, back to the video. Now, here's the kicker. The amount of revenue that Target made fiscal year 2017 was 71 billion eight hundred seventy nine million if you take one percent of that that still comes out to be seven hundred eighteen million seven hundred ninety thousand dollars and as i mentioned before if you took one person one thousand eight hundred fifty stores for each store at $11 an hour full time, that amount still only comes out to be $42 million. It is less than 1% of their total revenues in 2017. Target has the ability to not only pay their employees better, but also reinstitute an inventory system that will keep things in stock at all times. Don't sit there and tell me that you're having an issue with the manufacturer when I can go to another Target store and get the same product. Hey there, it's me again. I just wanted to interject because as I was going through and editing, I noticed I was rambling incoherently and I wanted to just give some final thoughts on what I said earlier. Here's what it boils down to. I've worked retail. I know how fickle and trying the business can be. At the same time, these are people who are working, trying to make a living, trying to make a difference, trying to just improve upon their lives. And this is where we need to have a better salary and bonus structure for the employees, for the people who are putting in the work day after day. For somebody to sit up in an office making $625 an hour and then also getting a bonus on top of that. And, you know, as much as they want to say that they care about the customer experience, if you really do care about that, then why are there always lines and why are you always trying to gear people towards self-checkout? And I know the reason why. It's in order for you to keep your costs low and keep your profits up, but to only ensure that your top stock owners get that money and not the employees. So, as a consumer, I'm choosing not to shop at Target any longer. Hopefully, they can make some changes, institute an inventory control system that utilizes people and not an automated system that is broken, that doesn't work. With that being said, you can find me on Twitter and at Instagram at thatbyguy3000. Thank you once again for watching. I do appreciate your love and support. And if you disagree with me, I would like to hear your thoughts regarding it because I'm not always right. I would need to hear another person's opinion. Maybe there's something I'm missing, but 
Just knowing what has happened in the last few months, I'm just done. They're not going to get my business, and then in turn, I'm going to pay off my Target credit card, and then they won't be getting that either. So, it's their loss, and hopefully they will make some changes in the future. So, thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll talk to you next time.